This video is dedicated to my teachers, American teachers, especially Mr. Elder from Albors Foundation, who is unfortunately dead, to Dr. Muhammad Ali Mushtahidi, director of Albors Foundation, for my parents who enabled me to learn and to try to make a research. This is also dedicated for all American soldiers, missionary people worked in Iran for development of Iran, for the teacher who was in the Iranian movement for the Iranian parliamentarism and has done the, as a first American died for Iran on the Iranian ground. This is also dedicated to the person who talked to me uh, as a young man named President of America, 1962, as I was his guest. Uh, and also, it is very important to understand that we Iranians like America and would like to cooperate with America, but this is the America who brought the mullahs in Iran and who is cooperating with mullahs behind the doors and against the interests of Iranians. I would like to read out of my book, Hello Prosperity. This is called USA and Iran from 1980, from 1856. 1856 to today, a summary of close friendship and cooperation. We remember the American friends, soldiers, missionaries, experts who died for Iran and hope for the better cooperation between both countries, USA and Iran. The United States of America has made a substantial and fundamental contribution to the social, economical, military, hegemonial development of Iran between, 19, between 1856 and 1978. The very first agreement between both countries is dated December 13th, 1856. It was about trade and transatlantic transportation. The transformation of Iran without any higher schools, any universities, any health system, any vaccination, any central bank, etc., into the Iran of 1970 and 1978, the Iranian nation thanks the USA. I repeat, the Iranian nation thanks the USA. It was the US government who created 1952-53 as Le Chahar, the uh, organization in Iran which was for the vaccination, for health, for roads, for economy, for plan and budget organization of Iran, etc., responsible, made by United States of America. Between the carry water in our house, drinking water with carriage, and Atomic power plant of Boucher, 1954 and 75, was a very short time. This was American, I repeat, American intelligence and American cooperation, German cooperation, and against the will of the Great Britannia, which enabled Iran to come to the new age. Iran was, at that time, entirely in the hands of the Russian and British government. Both countries regarded Iran as a colonial country and controlled all matters of government accordingly. The police and military, all exploration, control of the Caspian Sea, control of the forest trade, ports, etc., in the north part of Iran was in the hands of the Russian government. 
Russia even controlled the tax income of Iran. Police and military in the south part of Iran, oil exploration, banking system, etc. in south of Iran was entirely in hands of the British government. French, German and American government played a minor role in Iran. The American served Iran at that critical time which was very much under pressure of clericals of Shia cult mullahs which was 100% under control and ordership of the British government. Mullahs killed also that time any modern thinking and movement to madrasa or making the religious schools as they are doing now and today. The first work of America in Iran was creation of American college. The American college was created in Iran with the central contribution of the government of Reza Khan, Reza Shah Kabir, Reza Shah Der Gose, the father of the Shah. Central banking system, health, national vaccination, planning and roads, planning of railroads, planning of modern education system was a part of American contribution for Iran. The Iran at that time had no possibility even to print own money or to make coins. This was made by Bankeshahi belonging to the Great Britannia and Iran was a colonial country. The policy of Iran, 1954, under 1950-54, was very good time for America to go in direction of a very beautiful democracy with Mohammad Mossadegh, the Iran Prime Minister. Iran, the, the Americans, was cheated as, as through the British government, which in CIA and in every part of America has his hands, and they took Mossadegh away to the shop. We are looking for a cooperation between America and Iran, even now, especially now, to bring technocracy, technology, and stop this war making because this subdividing of Iran, which is part of Israeli plan, is against Israeli interests, is against American interests. The war machinery of America, which is receiving money through selling of arms, weapons, shall stop this because they sell, let's say, 100 billion, but America will lose 1,000 billion in this region. American interest in this region is much higher because in the case that Iran will come in hands of Russia, the America will have no chance at this region. Why America is not working with technocrats? Why America is not thinking that in Iran, from which Iranians are minimum one and a half million in America, America must have now, after these 33 years experience and go another way. Another way is the way of technology, of technocracy, and bringing the Iran in another way. It was America who has sent soldiers to Iran to push Russians from Azerbaijan away. <clears throat> it was America who asked Great Britannia to go from southern part of Iran away. We ask Americans to cooperate with technocrats, with knowledge and democracy. Thank you.